let's just continue where we left off and look at units units rather of production. So what units of production says is it doesn't matter the time's going by, it matters how much you use your asset. Units of production starts exactly as straight line started though. We take the cost minus the residual value and we compute the depreciable depreciable, easy for me to say, cost. So the cost of our asset, 150 grand. The residual value is expected to be 40 grand. The depreciable cost then is $110,000. Uh, now, again, with straight line, I took this and I said, well, how many years? 110 divided by the number of years. This asset, though, is going to, its useful life when we're using units of production is going to be measured in not years, but hours, 2,000 hours. So I've got to say, okay, well, let's get a cost per unit, a cost per hour. So I take my 110 grand, my depreciable cost, and I divide by the number of hours, 2,000 hours, and I get a cost per hour. And I just got to call up my calculator here. So 110 divided by 2,000, and it's $55 per hour. So for every hour I use this machine, it depreciates by $55. So it's a pretty expensive machine, I'd say. Okay, uh, so let's think about our usage then. So. Uh, similar to what we did with straight line, I'm going to say I own this for the full year of 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. And rather than saying, you know, okay, did I own it for 12 months, I want to say how many hours am I expecting to use it? 300, 500, 550, 450, 200. Um, okay, so 300... <laughs> I remembered exactly one number. 500, uh, what was it? 450, 350, 200? 550, 450, 200. And I just take that and I multiply by my rate, 55 bucks an hour. Now, this will differ uh, in reality, right? This is, we're just in the planning phase here. If in reality I use my thing for 312 hours, then when I do my depreciation for 2017, I go 312 times 55. Uh, it causes some problems when I way overutilize or way underutilize a machine, uh, but it's not terribly difficult to deal with once you know how. Uh, but in this scenario, we're just saying, look, this is in the planning phase and I'm planning to use 2000 hours and this is how the 2000 hours breaks down. And if we add this up, uh, we get 2000 because that's exactly what we're planning on. And again, in reality, we're not always going to hit that exactly. In fact, we will never hit that exactly. And all that ends up happening is in the final year or years, you end up plugging your numbers to make it work. Uh, but let's do some uh, computations here. Let's use our calculator. So 300 times 55 is 16,500. 500 times 55 is 27,500. 550 times 55 is 30,000, what was it, 3250. Uh, 450 times 55, oops, one too many zeros there, 24,750. And 200 times 55 is 11,000. So when I sum this up, 16.5 plus 27.5 plus 32.50 plus 24.750 plus 11, I get $110,000. 
And to that, I say, of course that's what I got. Of course I got $110,000. Why? I was planning to depreciate this for one ten, and you know what? I did depreciate this for one ten. So I just want to summarize this. I'm going to just rewrite my numbers up beside the straight line numbers. And the reason I want to summarize this is you, you certainly wouldn't have to, but I just want to be able to compare them in a few minutes. So I just want them side by side here. 16, 5, 27, 5, 30,000, 250, 24, 750, and 11,000. And that, of course, summed up to 110. Okay. So we've completed straight line, we've completed units of production, and let's be clear, look at what units of production did. It said, look, in the years where I used my car the most, or my uh, a piece of equipment the most, 2019, I should have the most appreciation. In the year I used it the least, I should have the least appreciation. That makes sense, doesn't it? You use an asset more, you depreciate it more. You use an asset less, depreciate it less. And in this year, we used it the most, we depreciate it the most. In the year we depreciated, uh, used it the least, we depreciate it the least. So rather than just the same every year, doesn't that make some sense to depreciate it uh, units of production style? Okay, stay tuned for double declining balance. <laughs>